Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to solve multi-step inequalities. As you can see, there are four important things we need to remember when solving multi-step inequalities. The first one is that you're going to combine any like terms that are on the same side of the inequality. If a term has the same variable like x or y, you will combine those together and all constants are like terms, which are just numbers. If there's any numbers on the same side, you will combine them together. After you combine like terms, you will add or subtract to get the variables on one side and constants on the other. After you combine, you'll add or subtract to move constants and variables around so that you have just constants on one side and just variables on the other. Once you do that, you will divide by the coefficient on the variable. And a coefficient on a variable is just the number that is attached to the variable. So for example, if I had 6x, the 6 would be the coefficient on this x, and you're going to divide by that 6. The last thing that is unique to inequalities is that if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you will switch the inequality sign. So if it's greater than, it would change to less than, and if it's less than, it'll change to greater than. So they will flip-flop back and forth if you divide by a negative number. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. All right, let's go ahead and get started on our first practice problem on multi-step inequalities. This problem gives us 1 plus 4x plus 3 is greater than 20. Now the first step we're going to have to do is combine like terms. The like terms in this case are going to be our constants or our numbers. So that means we're going to combine 1 and 3. We're going to add 1 plus 3. Well 1 plus 3 is 4. So those get combined and then we bring down the 4x and we bring down our greater than symbol and we bring down 20 because we didn't change any of those. After we bring those down, we have to put the constants on one side together and the variable on the other. Now you will see the variables on the left side here. We have 4x. So we have to move this number from the left side over to the right side. The way we do that is we do the opposite of what this number is. This number is a positive 4. So we have to undo positive 4 by doing the opposite, which is subtracting 4. I'm going to subtract 4 here. These 4s will cancel. And then you subtract 4 to the other side, because whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. Then we have 4x left over on the left is greater than 20 minus 4 is 16. So 4x and greater than didn't change because we didn't change them. And then we just simplified 20 minus 4 and got 16. Now you have to get rid of the coefficient on the x. So now we have 4x is greater than 16. This 4 is like saying 4 times x. So even though it's not written, there's a little multiplication symbol there. The opposite of multiplication is division. So the opposite of 4 times x is to divide by 4. I'm going to divide by 4 here. The 4s cancel. And then I also have to divide by 4 on the other side. On the left side, we're left with just x because the 4s cancel and our greater than symbol did not change. And then 16 divided by 4 is 4. So our solution to this multi-step inequality is x is greater than 4. Moving on to the second practice problem. This problem gives us negative 3x minus 5 plus 6x is less than or equal to 46. Now we have like terms on the left side of the inequality, which means the first thing we have to do is combine them. So we're going to combine the terms that have an x in them because that means they are like terms. So we have negative 3x plus 6x. Well, negative 3 plus 6 is positive 3. So we have positive 3x. We bring down minus 5. And we bring down less than or equal to and 46 because those did not change. Our variables on the left, all the like terms have been combined, and we need to move this constant from the same side as the variable to the opposite side. I have to get rid of this minus 5 on the left side. The opposite of minus 5 is plus 5. So I'm going to add 5 here so that the 5's cancel. And I'm also going to add 5 here because whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. On the right, we have 46 plus 5, which is 51. And then I bring down 3x because it did not change. 
and I bring down less than or equal to because it also did not change. Now we just have our variable with, with the coefficient of three. Remember, this is like saying three times x. So the undo three times x, we're gonna divide by three. So the threes cancel. Whatever you do to one side, you also do the other. We divide this side by three as well. And we have x left over here is less than or equal to 51 divided by three is 17. So our solution to this multi-step inequality is x is less than or equal to 17. Finally, our last practice problem gives us negative x plus 1 minus x is less than negative 77. So we're going to go ahead and combine like terms because we have x's of the same side of the inequality together. Now negative x minus 1x. So it's not written, but both of these have a coefficient of 1. So this is like saying negative 1 minus negative 1. Well, negative 1 minus negative 1 is negative 2. And I keep the x because the terms both have an x. And then I bring down plus 1. And I bring down is less than negative 77. Now we have negative 2x plus 1 is less than negative 77. We have to get rid of this plus 1 because we need all the constants together and all the variables on the opposite side. Now the opposite of plus 1 is minus 1. So I'm going to subtract 1 here. Whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So I'm going to subtract 1 here. I bring down negative 2x is less than, and then I simplify negative 77 minus 1 is negative 78. Now we have to get rid of the coefficient on the x. Remember, this is like saying negative 2 times x. I have to undo this negative 2. So I'm going to divide by negative 2. So we divide by negative and by 2. The negatives will cancel and the 2's will cancel. And we're left with just x on this side, which is what we want. Now we also have to divide this side by negative 2 because whatever you do to one side you have to do to the other. Negative 78 divided by negative 2 is positive 39. Now the last step that's unique to inequalities is that when you divide or multiply by a negative number, the sign in the middle flips. So if this is a less than sign, it's going to change to a greater than sign. And the reason it changes is because we divided by a negative 2. So that negative changes the symbol from less than to greater than. And x is greater than 39 is going to be the solution to this multi-step inequality. And if you want to do some more practice on multi-step inequalities, you can download our free practice worksheet or try a practice quiz that grades itself and tells you how you did by clicking on the link in the top right part of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!